Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Fresh MVVM with Xamarin Forms. So what is Fresh MVVM? Fresh MVVM is a library that really helps us uh, use MVVM uh, specifically in Xamarin Forms because Fresh MVVM is specifically built to be used in Xamarin Forms. So as you saw in the previous video, uh, we always had to set the binding context to our view model that we created before uh, but here it's all done for us of course we need to follow specific naming convention so if I have a main page I need to call it the main page model and then it's going to automatically bind them and also the navigation is going to be handled a lot differently in fresh MVVM which is going to go through uh, page models and not through pages. We'll see how are we going to do that. So let me now create an empty Xamarin Forms project. Let's just call it MVVM3. Okay. Save this on our desktop. Let me delete this old folder. Okay. And create. Okay, so our project is now created and we can add fresh MVVM. So we only need to add a store PCL project to our main Xamarin Forms project, add packages and call and type in fresh MVVM. And of course it's gonna add it here. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is create, since we have our main page, we need to have our main page model. Let's just create a new folder that's going to be called pages and let's move our main page over there and let's also create a folder named page models and let's now create a main page model so it's going to be a empty class and now we need to follow the specific naming convention so fresh MVM can uh, basically automatically bind main page to main page model. So let's create main page model Okay, and now remove this constructor. We don't need that And call this this is going to inherit from fresh base page model base page model Let's add the fresh MVM namespace and that's it. Now, since we have our namespace by default to be MVVM3, let's set it to be MVVM3.pages and also set it over here. Let me just make this more visible. MVVM3.pages.main page. Okay, that's nice. And now let's go to our app.xaml.cs file. Okay, so now it sets our main page to be an instance of our main page. Let's now change it. So first of all, uh, I can just say it to be like this. Main page is equal fresh page model resolver alt enter dot resolve page model and call this main page model add our page models namespace and this would be sufficient so it would take the main page model class and find the page that is basically called main page and it would create it but the problem we would run into problems when we try to navigate to other pages as we're going to do here so we need to create a navigation container and then add our main page into it. So let's create our navigation container. It's going to be called new fresh navigation container and it's going to contain a page. And since we have a page over here, that's it. Now, this fresh navigation container is also of type page I think it's actually navigation page but it doesn't matter and set it to nav container so this navigation container basically takes our 
whatever page we put in and sets that as our starting page and as we navigate towards other pages it pushes them onto the stack and we can of course pop that navigation stack you'll see later so now we have our main page model and let's place a button that is going to take us to the next page button let's add the text and let's just for fun bind it to click me text and also set the command to next page command okay so now that we have our click me text now we need to implement it in our main page model create a property it's going to be called a string it's going to be a, of type string called click me text and we're going to set it to click me semicolon and now we need to add our command that is going to basically going to take us to our next page next page command copy the name create a public command add the Xamarin informs namespace next page command is equal to a new command let me actually make this async since one of the calls we're going to make here is going to be async and now we have we can go to our next page but first of all let's create that new page so let's call it add new file let's create our page model first it's going to be called new page model that's it remove the constructor and call it fresh base page model just as we did with our main page model and that's it now let's create our new page new file now here we have forms content page and it's going to be called new page now i'll just add a simple button that is going to take us back to our previous page so let's call it button text is equal to go back command binding go back command and that's it copy the name and now create the command and also we're going to make this async let me just implement us going from the main page to a new page so how are we going to do that await for methods this is the member of the fresh page model class dot push page model and now we just need to type in the type of that page model which is going to be new page model and that's it and now let's go to our new page model and we'll just pop the stack in order to go to our old page so the same way core methods dot now pop page model and that's basically it let me run the app and see if this works okay so we see that our app is launched and we have our click me button now let's click it and see if it takes us to the next page and it clearly did and now let's click on the go back button and see if it takes us back and it popped the page model and went back to the start so that's basically it in the next video we're going to see how we can pass data between two page models that's basically it i'm going to see you next time